Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Isabel Omahi and today I am here with another tutorial and I'll be showing you guys how I created this beautiful trout inspired look. If you want to see how I created this look, please do keep watching. Thank you. Hey guys, here's my beautiful model Oma. She's so pretty, right? You guys, let's get into this look. So I started off with the moisturizer using my Neutrogena moisturizer and I just applied it all over her face and I blended it into her skin. You guys, she has such a beautiful skin. Just, just look at that. So gorgeous. Right now, I'm going over with uh, Illuminator. I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Illuminator. This is in Perla. And I'm applying it on the high point of her face with that brush. It's a fluffy brush and I'm just going to the high point of her face, her cheekbone her forehead the tip of her nose the bridge of her nose you know i'm just making that part pop this is a step that is not really important because the foundation is still going to go all over this so yeah you can choose to do this or not now going over with my foundation i did not film so much of this process because you guys have seen me doing so much foundation but this is the nyx bond this way foundation in caramel and i mix it with a little bit of huda beauty in cinnamon so i just used my mara by just kiss setting spray and i just sprayed it all over her face and right now i am bronzing this face yeah i'm using a black opal stick foundation this is in hazelnut and i'm just applying it on the side of the face to just give it a little bit of a warm i'm not doing so much of a contouring because for contouring, I will need something a little bit darker and a little bit grayish. But this one is kind of reddish and is a little bit more warmer. So I'm kind of just warming up the face. Going over for my liquid blush, I'm using this orange lip stain from Blush Cosmetic. I think this is in salt. And I'm just applying this as my liquid blush. And I'm blending it all over the high points of the cheekbones. Right now, I will be doing my concealer, and for my concealer, I am using the Kevin Coin concealer. I mixed the X12 with a little bit of Bond This Way concealer from Too Faced in Golden Beige, and I'm just applying that on the under the eyes. I'll be applying that on the jaw, the bridge of the nose, the forehead. Yeah. But right now what I'm doing is actually I'm contouring the nose still with my stick foundation. But for this stick foundation, this is in beautiful bronze and I'm just using it to contour the nose. And yeah, so I'm just kind of trying to snatch the nose up a bit and then go back in and continue my highlighting process. So you guys, if you've not subscribed to my channel at this point, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and do not forget to comment on this post please do leave a comment down below and like this video thank you guys so much please keep encouraging me and help this channel to grow <laughs> i would really 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 appreciate that so right now i'm just blending that concealer and i'm just taking my time using the white glam beauty blender to just blend all of this product into the skin properly so i'm taking my time to blend it if you don't blend it properly it's not going to sit well and it's not going to look like skin so you really need to take your time and make sure you blend it properly with a soft beauty blender so when blending i always start at the outer parts of the face before blending the inner part so that the product doesn't smear all over so step by step i go in with the outer part and then i come in the inner part so when you do it um step by step in that process it blends accordingly and it's easier for the product to sit properly on the skin So after this, I'm just going to spray the face again. I'm using my Mara Badiski spray and I'm just spraying that face 
so that it will just melt some of these products that I've put on the face in before I go over and set the skin. Right now, I'm setting the skin and I'm using a powder puff and I'm pressing my setting powder under the eyes and I'm using the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder to press and set the skin first of all before I go ahead and bake. You guys always remember, set the skin first before you bake. And when you're setting, do not use so much powder. Go in with as little product as possible. Keep pressing. When everywhere is properly set, then you can go in with as much powder as you want to bake and all that. I'm also setting on the eyes because I also put um, a little bit of product concealer in the eyes. So I'm setting there and I'm setting my brows because i'll be drawing the brows right after this i'm going to i'm just setting it so it takes off every um product like foundation whatever on the brows right now i'm warming the face with my msf powder in dark deep and i'm also using that to contour the nose going over with my merak cosmetic setting powder in curry this is a yellow powder and i'm just going to be using this powder to bake so right now i'm applying a lot more powder this will also help to catch my fallout and I'm also using this to bake the face, set the sides of the mouth, the jaw, the bridge of the nose, and you know, all over the face. Now I'm using my spoolie and my hair wax and I'm just brushing the brows to set in place for me to start to draw my brows. And going in with my Beauty Line by DD pencil, I will be drawing the brows starting from the tail of the brows. I will just be drawing that. And then I'll go over to the beginning of the brows and then I'm going to fill it in. I also use under pencil, which is the shell bell pencil to kind of fill in the beads from the front of the brows. You know, just to make sure it may mix her hair color properly. But um, I feel like this Beauty Line by Didi shade matches her brows, especially the outer corner a bit more because I wanted it to be, you know, darker in the outer corner then a little bit lighter in the inner corner took my time to draw it till my satisfaction and then i brushed it and then after that went over with my concealer the same concealer i used in um, highlighting the face is what I used for highlighting the brow bone and then I used a darker um, concealer the elf in dark to do the top of the brows and the beginning of the brow bone after this I went over with the Merak curry setting powder I set all over the eyelid and then going on with the next step which is using my Tara eyeshadow base and I'm just applying this all over the eyelid. This is going to serve as my base, the base for my eyeshadow. So right now I'm going over with my Dark Deep MSF MAC Mineralized Powder. And I'm using this as my transition shade. I'm going to be applying this all over the crease as my transition shade. And after that, I'm going to be using that dark brow from the MOF palette for my outer v color i'm just going to place it at the outer corner of the eye and just blend that out that will be the shade i used to contour going in with this gold from my blossom palette this is the african pride palette i'm just using that gold shade and i'm blending that all over the eyelid i'm just taking my time to blend it and make sure it sits perfectly and once I'm sure it's sitting perfectly, I'm going to go in with a little brown shade from that same palette. And I'm just blending that out the outer corner of that V. So it's not all gold from the beginning to the end. The outer corner of the part I put the gold shade, there's a little bit of a darker brown color. And now I'm going in with my black eyeshadow. This is from my Soft Glam Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. And I'm just smudging that in the outer corners of the eyes. I'm just kind of creating a wing and then I'm blending that wing out. So it kind of creates a lift at the outer corner of the eyes and just lifts her eyes up a bit. Right now I'm using this pigment. This is from my Peaches and Color Pigment. This is in Gatsby and I'm just applying it on top of that gold color and 
you guys this looks so beautiful this gatsby just makes everything just pops out a little bit more it just blended it down and it looks so beautiful now i'm also blending that other color i used that part just blended that in so it's not looking um separated and then i went over with my brown and i'm just blending that outer corner so that the crease is looking well blended you guys you always have to take your time to make sure your crease is blended the outer corner is looking nice everywhere you have to keep blending until you show your eyeshadow is sitting properly right now i'm going in with a uh, black from my soft glam palette and i'm just blending the under eyes smudging it out i also used a little bit of the brown under the eyes too and i smudged it under the eyes it looks so beautiful went over with my eyeliner lined the eyes and right now i'm using a silver shade from the same uh, peaches and color this is in this one i'm just using that silver shade just to apply put a line on that crease just a little bit of a line in the beginning part of the crease you guys can see it close up it looks so nice i just put a line just a sharp line i did not blend it out i wanted it to be there so it would just stand out and it looks beautiful so right now i'm lining her list and i'm using the beauty line by diddy lip pencil this is the brown lip pencil and i'm just using it to go all over her lips and i'm just lining that lip after doing this liner i'm using this nyx shade this is the nys lingerie shade and this shade is in baby doll and i'm just putting it in the inner corner this shade is can be a little bit drying so when i put it i try to blend it out with a brush so after blending it out to the best of my ability i used a white color from the eye magic lip palette and i just put it in the middle and i blended it and then i took my time and blended the whole lip so everything is looking really nice and no part is looking broken or no part is looking unblended and after blending i just went over with my gloss this gloss is the classic lip gloss and i applied it all over the lips lips looks really nice really yummy and i love it and right now i'm using my bizarre for in one mascara and i am applying mascara underneath her eyes and this look has come together and looks absolutely beautiful i actually sprayed her face with my juba setting spray when i was done with this and you know this is the final look so gorgeous you guys what do you think about this look do you love it please let me know in the comment section leave a comment down below do not forget to like this video and please <laughs> do not leave my channel without subscribing thank you guys so much i love you all until my next video bye bye